Sun Coast veterans, listen up. Ross Camp Institute is looking for vets of the Gulf War to participate in research that could help improve the lives of hundreds of thousands of vets. And SNN's Samantha Sonner joins us now with more on the study. Samantha. Over 25 years after the last troops returned from the Gulf War, veterans are still suffering from Gulf War syndrome. Ross Camp Institute is working to solve some of the mysteries surrounding the illness. Almost 700,000 troops deployed during the Gulf War. And according to the National Academy of Sciences, close to 250,000 show signs of Gulf War illness. A number of them, anywhere from 25 to even 50 percent of people can come back with this syndrome of symptoms. They can have trouble with pain in their joints, they can have trouble with their mood, their cognition, a lot of fatigue. While the symptoms are known, the cause of Gulf War illness remains a mystery. Ross Camp Institute's Dr. Andrew Keegan says their research is looking at potential causes. We're trying to find why this may be occurring so then we can come up with treatments. Currently there's really no treatment. People use antidepressants, they use uh, pain medications, but if we can kind of get to the underlying etiology, then we can actually focus on an on a treatment that's specific for this disorder. Helping with the research is simple. We have people coming in just for one visit where they have some blood draw, they do um, some memory testing, and they talk about their experience in the Gulf War, and it's a fairly straightforward study because it's that one visit, one day. The study isn't just for veterans with Gulf War illness symptoms. We're even looking for people that went to the Gulf War 1990, 1991, and don't have any symptoms because we're trying to see what's different about them, what reaction or change in their blood is different from those that actually have the syndrome. So maybe over 25 years later, specialized treatments could be an option for Gulf War veterans. Ross Camp is looking for 50 to 100 veterans to participate in the study, and you can find information on contacting Ross Camp to participate on our website, snntv.com. Now, Grant, I know you yourself are a Gulf War veteran. You know, yeah, what's I'm, been your experience dealing with Gulf War well, syndrome? I'm, I'm so lucky because I've never shown any of the symptoms that uh, some of my fellow troops have, and, and certainly I, I, my heart goes out to them dealing with this, but I've been fortunate. I hope it stays that way, but this study is very interesting. I may have to... Uh, take part in it. Yeah, absolutely. I think it could really improve the lives of a lot of people. Samantha, thank you for that very important report. Thanks. Thank you, Samantha. And Grant, as always, thank you for your service. Thank you, Nicole.